I think the thing that makes Boston really special, what people love about it, is it's small. New York is a big city, Los Angeles is a big city. With Boston, we're a little smaller. Because we're smaller, we have to live together. I think somehow, us all being able to live together really gives us a greater sense of pride. I know I'm proud. Well, we're in Dorchester now. This is where we grew up. Me and my brothers and sisters running around these streets. It's the house we grew up in, 60 Mercy Ave. It's a tough, tough neighborhood. But, you know, we, this, is, this is what made us. Same pizza shop, same market, same stores. When I finally moved away from this neighborhood, it was, it was the hardest thing I ever did. It was heartbreaking. That was home. That was home. It wasn't always easy, but we loved it. My brothers were always getting in some sort of trouble. Wahlbergs and police usually <laughs> were usually on the opposite side. As much trouble as they got in, I mean, the cops were still good guys. They still treated us like kids from the neighborhood who were worthy of respect. You see it a lot in our show. You see the, the gang unit guys going out into these neighborhoods with gang kids that they know. Straight home, okay? All right. You know, they can communicate with these kids in the gangs and try to give them choices and, and help, help steer them the right way. These are neighborhood people who are protecting the very streets they grew up on. I came to this country when I was very, very young. This is the only home that I really know. I feel like I owe it to the city that it showed me so much love to, um, to kind of protect it. The best part of my job is actually the worst part of my job also. I get to deal with everybody that's doing good, but I also got to deal with everybody that's doing bad. Dirt in the border. Yeah, yeah you know, skirting the border, probably doing a little scouting. Definitely doing recon. I know on TV I'm real good with the fake bullets flying past me, but I'm watching the real guys do it now every day in the editing room, and I just... I'm just blown away. When bullets are fired, gun! everyone runs away. And these police officers run to it. Yeah, we got him in the back. They got him. It goes against human instinct, but this is what they're trained to do. They're trained to go towards the trouble, to go towards the drama when everyone else is going away from it. It's amazing. They really are a special group. Um, I think they're a good, a good slice of uh, of the, the 2,500 men and women of the Boston Police Department. <laughs> a lot of networks had approached me about doing a, a reality show about the Boston Police Department. And, you know, I can't do a show about the Boston Police Department on your network. And they'd say, why? And I said, because you want guys kicking down doors and beating people over the head. And I know a lot of these cops. My family knows these cops. These cops grew up in the neighborhoods that I grew up in. And, you know, that's not what my city's about. I don't know too many other jobs where every day you go to work and someone is, is thanking you for the job that you do. And, and it makes you feel really good. We're actually here to help people. You okay, man? More so than we're here to hurt people. You have to focus on character and human beings and sort of go just beyond the police work and find out, you know, what makes these people tick. How come you didn't tell me you had to be at school at quarter nine and not nine? Now I'm in trouble. We're late. Do you guys know how to tell time? No. What is it that drives them to do the job that they do, to risk their lives every day, um, to protect the city that they grew up in? Juanita likes the fact that I'm a cop, but she doesn't like me doing police work because police work is inherently dangerous. You got him? You got a cop? As we get to know these officers, you know, we'll find out there's so many different motivations, so many different inspirations for all of them. Uh, I, I got six kids. They are why I do what I do. They're why I keep the streets safe. I'll see you in the morning, okay? My goal is just to get home safe to my family and make sure that my brothers, they get home safe to their families as well. Some of them, it's family tradition. My grandfather was chief of detectives in New York. I have a picture of him as he's showing up to a crime scene, and it's kind of like the old Elliot Ness with the fedora. It just always intrigued me. Some of them, you know, something happened in their life that inspired them to do it. And... I had some different people in my life that struggled with addiction, and I think that the area of narcotics is where you're going to make the most difference. I love going to work every day. I wouldn't change it for anything. We got our guy. We're going to say hard work pays off. It's a beautiful day for fighting crime. <laughs> They really care about these streets in this city. Best police department in the nation. And um, I do too.